So I'm gonna restyle Apple's hair today and um, I see a lot of comments from you guys asking for an Apple restyle, um, especially Andrea or Andrea. Um, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but Andrea has been asking me for an Apple restyle for quite a while. So um, sorry to keep you waiting and let's get started. As usual, the things you're gonna need are a pair of scissors, uh, a brush or a comb, and a bowl for the hot water, some straws and bobby pins, and please ask for adult supervision if you need help and also a towel to dry your doll's hair. So for Apple, I've got my reference pictures here, but I'm not gonna go through that just yet until after I've washed her hair first because um, once her hair is washed, it's a little bit easier to play around and brainstorm because I haven't really thought through how I'm gonna style her hair yet. So right now I'm gonna go boil wash her hair. It's really simple and I think most of you guys know how to do that by now, but if you still wanna know how that's done, you can click anywhere on the screen. I'll put an annotation to one of my previous videos so that you can go check that out first. But right now I'm gonna go wash her hair and I'll be right back. So we're back with Apple after washing her hair and here is the promo picture of Apple that I'm gonna be following and I'll just give you a quick walkthrough on how I'm gonna style her. So I love this picture because she has these really huge uh, luscious curls that I really really love. So I'm gonna try to give her those and um, for the top part you can see that she has this little piece again pulled back like most of the other dolls and um, probably secured with her headband here. So I'm gonna try to do that as well. So for the sectioning part, I think I'm going to section out um, three parts to work on. So first we have this little front piece here that's going to be the fringe and the bang and all that. And then we have this piece here that is falling on the right. And then finally we have this bottom piece that is um, tied and sectioned on its own. I'm going to section off a tiny part here to do the swept over little piece here that we talked about. So I think about this swept should be fine. Okay. And you might need a little bit more straws than usual because I'm going to be using the method that I did in my previous video when I restart Holly is that I'm going to be using um, another straw on top of all the straws that I put in to cover them up first before I put the pin in so that the pin and the hair doesn't have contact because um, Apple's hair is really light and I don't want to risk of the pins getting rusted and leaving marks on her hair so yeah, better safe than sorry. So now we're going to start with the first piece or the fringe or the bang or whatever you want to call it and you can see that in her promo picture um, her hair has this loopy quality that kind of like a loop or something you know it doesn't just fall like that so I'm gonna try to replicate that look though I can't get it exactly identical to that but I'm, I'm gonna try so I'm just gonna put a single piece of straw in here so that it kind of you know gives that loopy quality so, so I'm just gonna put it in right here and then I'm going to use another piece to cover it up first before I put the pin in. There, so I do hope it turns out the way that we want later. Alright, so let's continue with the rest of our hair. So you just, as usual, spritz and brush a bit before you handle each lock. Just take your straw and start wrapping. And it's important that you keep the hair flat like this. Don't twist it because if you twist it, it's not going to turn out exactly like the way you want. So just remember to keep it flat. Um, pin like we used to. And once you covered it up, just put this pin in as usual. And we're not going to roll up the curlers all the way up because her curls tend to start midway. So we'll leave it like that. So moving on to the side, I'm going to take a huge chunk of hair like this rather than small ones because uh, I want to have those thick, uh, big curls like that. So. And some of you ask why the dolls don't have their hands when I work on them. It's because um, you have to take off their hands when you take off their clothes or else the jackets or little tiny sleeve won't come off. And I would leave them off until I'm done with them because uh, taking their hands on and off often can damage the little pegs because I heard some people breaking off the little joint connected thingies and you can connect them anymore and put them back anymore. So I don't want that to happen. That's why I just leave the hands off until I'm done with them.
So as you can see, this method takes a little bit more time and it's a bit trickier to do than just simply putting the pins in, but I assure you that it's much better than having uh, rusted stains on your doll's hair. So I've finished putting all the curlers on the right side and so what we have left is this part and, and I'm going to separate them into two pieces, top and bottom. So I've divided them equally in the middle and I'm going to work on the bottom first and then I'll do the top. So it's just simple curling, just put on the curlers and um, I'll be right back once I finish putting them. So I'm back and I'm not finished yet but I feel like I'm not showing you guys enough footage of the curling so I'm just here to... Um, show you the last few pieces that I'm doing so I think it's about four or three pieces and the reason I skipped these parts is because it's just simple curling there's nothing new to it so I just didn't want to um, bore you guys <laughs> but I do like talking to you so anyways if you're wondering about the dress that she's in um, I usually put my dolls in little tissue paper spa outfits when I um, do their hair but for Apple I thought she should get a nicer dress because after all she is the most fabulous one of all so this is actually a skirt from barbie mariposa doll um if you guys have the doll you may know that she comes with a little pink skirt so i just wrap her around the apple and it turns into a dress for her There, so that was the final last piece for her hair and um, now we only need to do the little front piece here. So I'm going to be using a slightly smaller straw to give a tinier curl. So that's a wrap. Get it? A wrap? Because we wrap the hair around the straw. <laughs> okay, that's me trying to be funny. But anyways, um, everything is done. I have set the little piece here, the piece here, and everything else in the back. And it's a little wonky, but who cares what the straw looks like as long as she turns out fabulous, it's fine. So that's about it. So right now I'm going to go dip her hair in hot water to set the curls and then I'm going to let her air dry for overnight. And then I will be right back tomorrow to undo the curls and do some styling magic. So anyways, if you want to know how the hot water dipping part is done, you can click anywhere on the screen. I will put an annotation to one of my previous videos so you can go check that out. So see ya hey guys so we are back and i'm gonna undo a few of the curlers right here and then i'm gonna do the rest off camera because i am really bad at focusing two things at once so i can look at the camera and look at the doll at the same time so i'm gonna start from the front and then work my way up to the back so first thing you want to do is just take off the pins and then carefully slide the outer part of the straw then you just slide out the rest of the hair from the straw and then, and then this little fringe part I'm gonna take this out okay wow she looks so Hollywood like that <laughs> and then this little piece And then don't try to unwrap the hair from the curlers, you just slide out the straw and then we can do the styling part later. And we are done! So I tried to pull off a little of my fratty stuff over there, but failed miserably. <laughs> oh well. So before I explain you how I styled her, I'm just going to give you a 360 look of her hair. So this is the side, and here's the back, I'm really loving the curls. Here is the other side. And bam, we're back. So right now I'm gonna walk you through how I styled her hair and then I'm gonna give you a few pros and cons and some little tips that you may want to avoid when you do yours and some alternatives on how to style her. So first of all, this little loop here that I wanted didn't exactly turn out the way that I had hoped. It ended up covering her face, so I kind of improvised and just pulled that little piece backwards and secured it with her headband right there. But I ended up loving it a lot more because she still have that loopy bang here and she looks more regal like that, I think, in my opinion. So here is a side where this piece 
came a bit under the headband and I kind of tried to mix it with the other curls so it's not sticking out weirdly. And here is the back and I didn't do anything much for the back except that I tried to separate out some of the huge ones into smaller tiny ones so that they look more voluminous. And here is the underneath. Mm -hmm, love them. And here is the other part of her hair and I am really really loving how they turned out overall because they're exactly the way that I had imagined. They're big, they're huge curls and they just look so luscious. So. Love them. And finally we're back to the front. So right now I'm gonna give you guys a few tips here and there and some alternations that you can use when you restyle your own dolls. First of all, in the promo picture, you can see that the curls are not as tight as the ones I have right here. And because the curls are tight, it can make the hair become shorter than it is. Because in the promo picture, you can see that it actually goes around to her skirt, while mine stops around at the waist because of the curls. So, if you're fine with it, it's okay. But if you want the hair to be longer, you can do this when you're wrapping the hair around the straw. So you just wrap it normally, but you try to keep each loop of hair away from each other so that they're not touching and that will give you longer hair and looser curls because I wrap them a little bit too close to each other and that's why I have um, tighter curls so that's what I should have done and for those who still want to pull off that loop I may have an alternation that you can use to make it look more like that because when I tried to make the loop I just made it straight like that and it didn't turn out like the way I wanted so when you do it you may want to try it like sideways because the hair does go on the side, so you might want to try it on the side. I'm not sure how that will turn out, but you can give it a shot. <laughs> and for you guys who want to make her look like her webisode self and not to the doll promo pictures, um, you can see that in the webisode, at the fringe part, she doesn't have any poofy or any loopy thing here. It's just that her hair is just pulled back like that. So if you want that to happen, you can just skip the loop part altogether and just curl the other parts. And then once you're done, you just pull it back and secure it here. And then you have that little look that you want. So I guess that's it for my apple white hair restyling tutorial. And even though some parts didn't end up the way that I had wanted, overall I am really happy with how she turned out. Um, I think she just looks so much more prettier and much more cuter. And here is another 360 look before we go. And I'll put a photo slideshow at the end of the video so you can check out more shots on her. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for those who have been waiting for a while, I really hope I did justice to her and the video itself. <laughs> and um, best of luck to you as well if you're reselling your own Apple dolls. So I did open up a new Facebook page for my channel for those who don't have Instagram. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. It's just simply DisneyBoy21. And all of you guys are welcome to like it. And you guys are very welcome to post pictures on my Facebook page if you do resell your doll's hair after my tutorials because I would be really happy and excited to see them because I really want to see how they turn out because I see so many comments that you guys follow my tutorials and that they end up so great and you are so happy so I want to be happy too so please post pictures on my page if you do resell your dolls because I would be really happy to see them and not just that I mean if you have Disney or Ever After High or just other doll stuff in general that you want me to see you can just post them and for all you non Facebook guys you can still follow me on my main account on Instagram at DisneyBoy21 for photos but that is enough shameless promoting for tonight <laughs> and once again I really hope you guys enjoyed the video please thumbs up and subscribe best of luck to you for your resales and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video bye